from somewhere in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Hey, careful, man. There's a beverage here. Huh? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show for the evenings. Not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. Here we are together again on the radio. Simple question. Nothing complicated here, okay? We are four weeks from Election Day. Are you going to vote? Will you vote? That's what I want to know. I'm not going to lecture to you about why you should vote. I'm not going to get into that with you because you know what? You should do whatever the hell you want. By the way, when I vote, I'm thrilled when you're not voting. <laughs> I don't know why people say, oh, please vote. Please. you got to vote. Because every time you don't vote, it makes my vote worth more. I, I, I Please stay home on Election Day. Please. So that my vote will have even more importance uh, by the way, if you live in L.A., the only thing I ask that you do if you are voting, please vote for Bernard Parks against Mark Ridley Thomas. Not because I like one of these guys over the other. I just hate Mark Ridley Thomas. I mean, if there's anybody in L.A. who's most responsible for us not having an NFL team, it's Mark Ridley Thomas. Just say no to Mark Ridley Thomas. That's all I ask. If you don't know who he is, don't even worry about it. Just vote for the other guy. If you see a hyphenated name on the ballot, vote for the other person. There's a lot of TV commercials for Mark Ridley Thomas. Just say no. County supervisor, not Mark Ridley Thomas. No, the other guy, Bernard Parks. That's it. I made my point. If you're not voting, it's irrelevant to you anyway. I'm just wondering if you are voting. If you are, fine. If you're not, tell us. Tell us you're not voting. Tell us why you're not voting. I just want to give you the opportunity to vent on this subject. I know there are many of you who have very strong opinions about whether it's worth your time to vote or why it's important to vote or why it's important to stay home. That's fine. I'll take whatever you got. Four weeks from today is Election Day, so it's 28 days away. Are you voting? You can call us here at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. All right, let's get to these calls. We have one, Dean. Let's go. We're working on it. Well, we'll take a break while Dean works on it. Sound like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likey Show. The Tom Likas Show, 1-800-5800-TOM, or four weeks from Election Day. Will you vote? Natasha, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Papa Tom. Hello, Natasha. And hello to all my fellow listeners. Well, well. Well, your topic, um, you're stressing the importance of voting. No, I haven't stressed the importance of it. I'm just asking people if they are voting. Yes, I'm voting, and... I will vote for Bernard Parks, and as far as the... Just keep that Mark Ridley Thomas out of office. That's all I ask. Oh, no doubt about that. No doubt about that. And I'm actually getting my family members and friends to vote Ridley Thomas as well. And, Any, and by the way, anyone who's an NFL fan uh, and wonders why we don't have an NFL team in Los Angeles uh, all these years, uh, it's Mark Ridley Thomas. He's the person primarily responsible. He is, and you know that's what my uncle said when back when the Rams used to be here in L.A. 
Well, we had an NFL team in Los Angeles at, at that time, and that was back in the 70s. Yes, it was. And then the Raiders came after the Rams left. They but sure but, but once the Rams and the Raiders left, it was Mark Ridley Thomas who insisted that any NFL team play at the Coliseum. And the NFL, just as we know now, after 13 years of playing this game, does not want to play at the Coliseum. That's it. End of story. They've used L.A. Mark Ridley Thomas was played uh, like a fool as he continued to uh, uh, try to get uh, an NFL team to play in uh, uh, this ancient facility that's very nice as a museum piece, and it's great for USC and all that. But it's just not an NFL facility, and it never will be. It won't. It won't. So uh, th th that's one of many reasons I would keep this guy out of office. You know, I, I think I have to agree with that. But I wanted to ask you, Tom, um, there's a few things I wanted to bring up besides R Ridley Thomas and um, Bernard Perks. Just the voting overall. I wanted to touch base on October 22nd is going to be in and out 60th anniversary. We, we, well, you know what? This is a rumor, and we're not going to broadcast this rumor because I don't want to find out later that it's not true. I know what you're going to say. We can't put it on the air. Thank you, Natasha. one 800 800 tom Four weeks from today is election day. Will you vote? Jared on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you doing? Doing okay. All righty. Well, I'm going to vote on November 4th. Um, though I would, I would like to say to you that I agree 100% that if less people vote, your vote is worth more. And it definitely is, and I 100% agree with it. I mean, I'm a student at UCLA, and sometimes I just don't understand why people try to keep uh, getting people to vote when, you know, really in the long run, when, when university students, you know, some that just don't, you know, know what the issues are and, and stuff like that, it's just better that they don't vote. And actually, the people who don't vote, I'm glad that they aren't because my vote will be worth more. Right. I, I really, please, if you don't read, you don't know what's going on, if you're not paying attention, please stay home. Exactly, exactly. Please I do not vote. Again. Anyone who says, oh, you must vote, it's so important to vote, it doesn't matter what you vote on or what you do. You know, please, if you are ignorant and you know who you are, do not vote four weeks from today. Do not. Exactly. I agree with you, Tom. Well... That's all I got to say. I'm going to vote on November 4th and uh, take me on African tribal style. There you go, Jared. <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Four weeks from today is today is election day. Will you vote, Nick, on the Tom Likas show? Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, Nick. How are you today? Great. All right. I want to let you know I'm going to vote for McCain, and we got a whole bunch of haters I know out there. I'm fresh out of the military. I uh, got medically discharged. Got in a bad uh, bad day on patrol out in Baghdad. Um, a whole bunch of my buddies just got redeployed uh, two weeks ago. And I just feel if Obama comes into office, we are just not going to have enough support for our troops, as we don't already. We get paid nothing. We're out there risking our lives. What every makes you day. think Barack Obama wouldn't want to spend more paying the troops? I don't understand. I'm sorry? You heard what I said. No, I didn't. My, my phone cut out. What made you think that Barack Obama would not want to pay more money to the military? I, I, I happen to think the opposite is true. Because of all of all the bills that he wants to pass as far as not funding our troops. Not funding the war in Iraq. Well, either either way, we're still going to have troops out there when, when he gets into office. And at no time did Barack Obama indicate that he does not want... You know, he is willing to fund the troops as long as there is a timetable for withdrawal. And if he becomes president, there will be a timetable for withdrawal. Okay, that's all he wants is a timetable? Right. Uh, Haven't you been watching the debates? Have you been paying attention? No, nah, I've been really busy with school and work. And Step it up, Nick. All right, Tom. Can you take me out of the bong hit? I certainly can. <coughs> Nothing complicated. A simple question here four weeks before Election Day. Will you vote on Election Day?
1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Dave on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Dave. Hey, I absolutely will be voting on November 4th. In fact, I'm doing something really interesting right now. Um, I've got your show streaming live over the Internet down here in San Diego. Plus, I've got the debates on on uh, closed captions, so I'm kind of like watching them both. But and I'm also DVR recording the debates as we as we speak. So some interesting stuff going on there. Um, I'm just wondering, have you guys up in LA gotten anything on your uh, voter information, your voter books, you know, your sample ballots, any of that stuff? I haven't gotten mine yet, but uh, Dean just got his, so I imagine mine will be in a day or two. Yeah, I just got the big book, you know, the one that's got all the legal jargon and stuff. Right. In it. And I wanted to say something. I actually go in, and when there's an issue that I'm, um, you know, like a proposition, all it's got in it right now is the propositions. But, you know, I actually go in and read all the legal jargon in there when there's something I'm right. confused on. But yes. One thing I wanted to say to, to voters, um, you know, there's this myth that, you know, a no vote equals a yes vote. But really, you know, if you're unsure about a proposition, you know, don't vote for that proposition. If there's too much legal jargon and there's a lot of blurry points in there, vote no. You know, because all it means is just no. You basically want to keep things the way they are. You know, and if things... You know, I think that's what people generally do. They generally vote no if they don't know what the proposition's about or they just don't vote at all. Um, the You know, uh, the propositions in California, something has to be done because... Uh, uh, they're generally set up so that yes means no and no means yes. And it's pretty outrageous. It's pretty outrageous. Uh, here's Aaron on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Uh, I just want to say, you know, the forefathers, when they set up this country, you know, years and years ago, they set it up for the Electoral College to vote the president. We are not voting the president. It's a select few who actually do that. And they kind of knew that the average person was a little too... Maybe stupid back in the day. And well, it, it it does matter. If you vote for president uh, in your state, you'll be electing electors who generally vote for the people that uh, you have uh, uh, demanded that they vote for. I just don't think it really matters. I mean, it's a select few. Well, it, number one, it does. But even if you don't believe that, number two, there's a whole bunch of other issues on the ballot that are important. For example, the entire House of Representatives is up for re-election. Yeah. Uh, that, that's just one example. Uh, also, if you live in, uh, if you live in Los Angeles County, uh, uh, that, uh, Mark Ridley Thomas is trying to get elected and you want to keep him from getting in. I just think, you know, as much as, you know, uh, you know, people like to think their vote counts, but the Electoral College, you know, we saw the popular vote in 2000, 2004, the presidency was bought. You know, even though the popular vote... Well, come on, that, 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 that was proven not to be true by the New York Times and USA Today, uh, who went in under the Freedom of Information Act, and they went and they counted all the ballots, and it was not true that Al Gore won the election. It's just not true. Not, not true. Total... It's been proven not to be true by the liberal New York Times, uh, who uh, <laughs> went in there, I guess, hoping to find out that Al Gore won, and they found out that he didn't. I'm not a conspiracy nut. I just don't. But don't you read? That. Don't you read that? Didn't you read that? Some of it, yeah. But no, I no, didn't. none of it. You didn't read any of it because here you are calling up with that same conspiracy theory again. Okay, Tom. Thank Bye. you. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. It's four weeks from today, election day. Will you vote? Let's say hi here to Tony on the Tom Likas show. Hey, uh, Tom. How's it going? Doing okay. But hey, I just wanted to let you know that I absolutely will be voting uh, this this election day. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really the only way to, to make a difference, I think. People who don't vote, when you don't do anything, that doesn't solve any problems. So. Now, are you voting because you're a good citizen, or are you voting because you're afraid of what's going to happen here in the next few months? I mean, a little bit of both, actually. Um, you know, I'm, I'm personally going to vote for, uh, for McCain. Uh, reason being, I differ with what Obama's doing uh, fiscally and, and, and socially as far and what, as... And what uh, is that? One of the big things that, that Obama is planning on doing that I don't agree with is, is the universal health care. 
Well, of course, as you know, Bill and Hillary Clinton intended to do that, too. Uh, Congress, of course, did not play along, and so it didn't happen, which is probably what will happen with Obama. And on top of all of that, uh, we had unprecedented prosperity under Bill Clinton, and you know that's true. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, but so I just because Barack Obama says he'd like to have universal health care doesn't mean it's going to happen. I do, but I think it's, it's, a, it's a pretty big ticket as far as what, from what I hear him saying. And with the whole bandwagon of change, 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 I think it might get more attention now than it did before. And, and you've traveled. Uh, you've been to Europe. Uh, yes, I have. A lot of those hospitals down there, I, I grew up there. It's, it's nowhere near the uh, quality that the majority of American hospitals... Uh, well, understand, offer. understand, under a universal health care plan, uh, you would still, if you had money, you'd still be able to pick your own doctor and go where you want. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, I, 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 I do agree with that, but health care in I mean, general... I, as, long as long as the government isn't telling me when and where I can go to the doctor, I, I don't really care. Sure, but I mean, in general, I think overall... Health I'd rather be spending seven hundred billion dollars on providing health care for people than spending it bailing out banks, bailing out AIG. I'd, I'd much rather be spending the money on people. Well, I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I agree, and that that right there—that's a whole other issue that I don't think. Uh, you know, we're, we're becoming socialist with with everything that our yeah, government. Yeah, but the president belongs to what party again? What's that? The president of the United States belongs to what party? I think he's just a Yahoo man. I mean, what 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 party does he belong to? A, a Republican. But and and John like... McCain is what what party? He's a Republican. And but... he supported that bailout package, did he not? Well, I he he did. Did he? Yes, yes, he did. So you're, we're becoming socialist, and uh, here are the two guys, uh, John uh, McCain and George Bush, uh, who uh, backed up uh, the idea of spending seven hundred billion dollars to bail out businesses. Yeah. Uh, These are the guys who would tell us for years, get the government off our back, make the government smaller. And they spent $700 billion to bail out private industry. Well, that's the situation our country's in. No, no, that's the situation they put us in. Well, I... That's the situation they put us in. In that specific regard with the bailout... John McCain yeah. was one of the Keating Five. You know what the Keating Five were? You probably don't. You were seven years old when the Keating Five were around. Look it up. It, um, I've... I haven't looked into it too much. Well, no. we, well, maybe you do a little reading and you'll find out that John McCain was one of the Keating Five. Find out what the Keating Five were. Google it. Look it up in Wikipedia. Well, find out well, what the Keating Five were. You know how we're bailing out banks now? In the 80s, we bailed out savings and loans. And John McCain was right there at the head of the parade with his buddy Charlie Keating. All right, and, and how, how many Democrats are, are right along with the bill Again, as well? Again, it's the Republicans who say they're going to make government smaller, they're going to have less regulation, get the government off our back. John McCain now, twice in his career, has used government money to bail out private businesses. Are, are, are you saying that the government will be smaller with... I'm not. Obama I'm just saying McCain? I'm just, just saying that the, at least uh, Barack Obama doesn't lie about it like Republicans do. How, how's how's he lying? But he didn't hide that he signed the bill. Wait a minute. Again, he here is somebody who says get the government off our back, right? Uh, he less is. regulation, right? True. All right. So we had less regulation, and the banks uh, had a had a party, and then uh, went broke, right? I mean, it's it, it happened we, all over again. Is it? It happened twice with John McCain, didn't it? Exactly. Right, and, and this is the guy who says, get the government off our back, except if it's private business, we'll take $700 billion to bail us out. Back in the 80s, we took all that money to bail out the SNLs, too. But you're bringing up one point. No, 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 it's a very important point, son. It's a very important point. Look up the Keating Five, please. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's George on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. It's Johnny on the Tom Likas Show. Hi, Tom. How are you doing today? First doing okay. Call. Yeah. Uh, we'll be voting, voting for Obama. Uh huh. And um, about forty-one years old. Yeah, I think it's important everybody votes. Uh, though my vote won't make a difference, obviously, in California. I wish I could go to Ohio or a place like that where it mattered. Um, and the reason, big reason, why I'm voting for Obama: three hundred and forty-one million dollars a day, which is what we're spending on this freaking war. And nobody talks about that fact: how it affects the dollar, how I re how we've gotten such a large deficit that our dollar value has gone down, and you can't buy anything with it. Yeah, tell me. And, you know, we, we keep talking about bailing and bailing out. Well, let's start with that deficit because that makes a huge difference. And, you know, and I am for small government. I'm kind of a moderate more than anything. I am registered as an independent. 
But, you know, you talk about, look at Palin. She, her family received something like $22,000 last year as far as subsidies are concerned for the families in Alaska, which you need to have. And there's an example where government works. You know, it doesn't work all the time, and obviously it's a big mess now. But, you know, you, you can't have it both ways. You talk about changes and all this other stuff, about having smaller government and all this stuff. But in some cases, you do need to have it. And we've lacked it so much. We've spent... Yeah. Well, they want smaller government until they go broke. And then they want big government to come in and rescue them. That's what they want. All right. From Wikipedia, uh, folks, <clears throat> there it is from Wikipedia. The Keating Five were the five United States senators accused of corruption in 1989 igniting a major political scandal as part of the larger savings and loan crisis of the late 1980s and early 1990s. The five senators were Democratic Senator Alan Cranston of California. Well, he's not running for president, so really who cares about him? Uh, Democratic Senator Dennis D. Cassini of Arizona. Again, not running for anything. Uh, Democratic Senator John Glenn of Ohio. He's not running for anything either. Democratic Senator Donald W. Regal of Michigan. He's not running for anything. But look who the Republican was of the Keating Five. Yes, Republican Senator John McCain of Arizona. Yes, the five senators were accused of improperly intervening in 1987 on behalf of Charles H. Keating Jr., chairman of the Lincoln Savings Loan Association, which was the target of a regulatory investigation by the Federal Home Loan Board. Federal Home Loan Bank Board subsequently backed off taking action against Lincoln. Lincoln Savings and Loan collapsed in 1989 at a cost of $2 billion to the federal government. Some 23,000 Lincoln bondholders were defrauded, and many elderly investors lost their life savings. The substantial political contributions that Keating had made to each of the senators, totaling $1.3 million, attracted considerable public and media attention. After a lengthy investigation, the Senate Ethics Committee determined in 1991 that Alan Cranston, Dennis D. Cassini, and Donald Regal had substantially and improperly interfered with the FHLBB in the investigation of Lincoln's savings. Cranston received a formal reprimand. Senators John Glenn and John McCain were cleared of having acted improperly, but were criticized for having exercised, quote, poor judgment. All five of the senators involved served out their terms, only... Glenn and McCain ran for re-election. They both succeeded. Keating five, boys. Look it up. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Jordan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi, Jordan. Hi, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to be voting. I am an independent. I'll be voting on propositions. Well, you are voting. You're not voting for president. Yes, I'm not voting for president. I'm voting on propositions. And why are you not voting for president? Because I am 18 years old, and uh, I realize that I am not mature enough to make these kind of decisions. I haven't looked up. I haven't done my homework, basically. Well, I'm glad you're not voting. Yeah, my parents are registered Republicans, so, you know, it really doesn't matter what president is to them. They're going to vote for Republican, but, you know, you can't see it that way. you got to be open-minded about things. I, I, I'm, gl- I'm glad. If you don't know what you're doing, I'm glad you're not voting. I'm, I want my vote to count for more. Exactly, and I hope I'll be up there with you soon. All right, very good. Have you taken out the ball here, please? Yes, yes, I can, Jordan. <coughs> Steve on the top like his show. Hello. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, I can understand with the last caller right there how he's not going to vote because he does, hasn't done his homework. Um, pretty much, I was always told, you know, if you uh, don't vote, you don't have an opinion of what happens. No, actually, opinion, actually, you? actually, you do have an opinion. Uh, you, of course, uh, constitutionally, you have an opinion. Well, if you don't vote, then why can you complain about something? Well, you can something? complain. It doesn't mean I'm going to listen to you or that you have any credibility with me. But yeah, sure, you can complain. Uh, that's your right. And then the other, the other caller before that was going for McCain. I was trying to get on to tell him that he's just a blithering idiot. That uh, he's pretty much insane if he wants to vote for McCain because. What does the Iraq war cost us about every three weeks, every like eight million dollars, I think it is? It's a lot of money. Yeah, something like that. So, you know, I guess uh, you want to go McCain, rock on. Let's go go get more in debt and uh, maybe we could do a second bailout. That won't even help. 
Well, it makes a lot of sense. Tom on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Tom. Yo, I, I, you know, I don't see how I can vote in this election, being uh, that I'm from California. What does that have to do with anything? Well, because, you know, it's electoral college, and this is a, uh, you know, they're, we're going to be voting in a Democrat no matter what. Yeah, but it, there's more than just president to vote for. Right, but, you know... As don't you care as about voting, the other issues on the ballot? I do care about the other do issues. Do you know what I, they I, are? No, I need to do my homework on that, that's well, so, sure. so, well, why would you not vote? It doesn't make any sense not to vote. Well, I'm just saying voting for just a... Per for a president, you know, being a Republican, uh, you know, McCain, you know, California's not going to go for McCain. So you're a Republican, but you're not going to try to help McCain by voting for him? Okay, good. Don't do that. Don't just stay home. <laughs> well, thanks, Tom. Can you take him out with a bomb rip, please? There you go, Tom. Luis on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Luis. I'm just calling to let you know that I will be voting for Obama simply for one reason and one reason only. Which is what? Well, actually, it might be four reasons. I'm only 25, so I remember the Reagan years. And from what I remember from that as a kid, my parents and, you know, news reports and saying that he was, that he put the country in the financial, you know, same way that Bush has us, you know, behind and uh, so did uh, Bush Sr., Bush uh, Jr., and, uh, you know, it's like, what's, what's McCain going to do? So these guys have all put the country behind financially, and they call themselves, you know, conservatives. So I'm voting for Barack. Well, I, I understand where you're coming from. Uh, I'm going to be voting for Obama myself, but, um, you know, whether you're voting, for, whether you favor Barack Obama or John McCain, I'm hoping that everybody who doesn't know what they're doing will not vote so that my vote, well-informed, based on a lot of reading and studying, I'm hoping that my vote will, call, will, be, vote, will, will be worth more. Exactly. Yeah, I've been kind of watching the debates and doing my homework, so, you know, hopefully my vote, it, well, it, it is an informed vote, but uh, thanks for taking my call, Tom. Can you take me out Snoop Style? Snoop Style, here you go. Biatch. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Cole on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Yes. What's going on, buddy? How you doing? No, I'm doing pretty good. Hey, I'm just calling to let you know I'm voting for Obama, and, uh, you know, I'm a registered Republican, and, uh, you know, I, I just can't make myself vote for McCain or another Republican, you know, but I... I follow the, you know, the Republican, you know, the ways that they, they usually vote, but I just can't do it, man. Well, I mean, the Republicans say one thing and do another. I mean, you, do Democrats propose spending money on health care and spending money on job programs? Sure they do. Uh, but Republicans pretend they're not going to raise your taxes, and then they raise your taxes by making the dollar worth less and less and less. Exactly. And I'm 25 years old. I make about 110000 a year. And, you know... Under Obama's plan, I'm going to get a tax cut. You know, so I mean, I I really don't foresee myself making a, a you know a triple the the income you know within the next five, eight years or so. But you know, it's it's insane to to keep um, you know someone who's ruined our economy. You know, or basically it's a it's a clone of Bush coming in with McCain. You know, and um, I just I can't I can't let someone else ruin our ruin our country more into the dirt. Yeah, well, Bush and McCain are one of the same. So if you like Bush. Let's vote for McCain. I voted for Bush, and I won't do it a second time. There we go. Awesome. Thank you, Tom. Call, thank you, 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Steve on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hi. Hey, two things I wanted to bring up. One, I'm going to vote absenteeism, because I've learned a few years back, sometimes you just, you're just you just busy or something on the day of the election, and you don't have time to get into voting booth and vote, that I've learned to vote absenteeism so that way I make well, not, sure you're not voting vote. absenteeism you're voting absentee right I'm exactly I'm sorry but I, I do the ballot uh, basically a week ahead of time and that way I can sit down I've read everything I know exactly what I'm doing and I think that way everyone should almost look at that if you are working you've got a busy life and you may not be able to get into a polling place on Tuesday. Yeah, I, I vote absentee every year. The reason is because the government insists on knowing my home address. 
every time I register to vote. And I don't believe that my home address as a public figure should be available to the public. Uh, so I went to a judge and proved I was a public figure. And now I only vote absentee and I have an alternate address I use. Uh, the judge knows my address, but nobody else does. And that's the way it works. Very good, very good. And just the second thing I was going to say is, when you vote, aren't you supposed to be voting for a platform and not actually the person? And that the person is just a representative of it, but... That went out the window a very long time ago. So, I mean, regardless of who the person is? Nobody, nobody knows what the Republican or Democratic platforms even are. But shouldn't we? Uh, Steve, uh, no, because we don't know necessarily that the presidential candidate will adhere to that platform. It's uh, ceremonial. It's <laughs> ceremonial. There's no guarantee that the presidential candidate will do what the platform says. Right. Well, <laughs> I, I kind of hope that they will, and that's what I'm voting for. Is I know what you're hoping for, but I'm hoping that Santa Claus is coming to town. It doesn't mean that he's going to. Uh, I still believe in the democracy as it's written. Well, or well, there's not the, there's, well, first of all, the democracy is not written. And second of all, uh, if there were a list of rules for the democracy, nowhere does it say that the platform of a party is the platform of a candidate. No, uh, that's true. I mean, but that's where it's at. But I just am encouraging everyone to vote. And if you can't actually be there physically make sure you do get a absentee ballot and get that in ahead of time good point steve thank you election day is four weeks from today are you voting tom like it who's that to pick 1-800-5800 tom 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 1-800-5800-866 like it the tom like it show I'm Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number, election day, four weeks from today. Are you voting? Camilo on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hi, Tom, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I just wanted to say that I'm voting for Obama, and because of the issues he stands on, not just because I'm a Democrat. All right, uh, let's uh, talk about this. Uh, you, you think it's important to vote? Are you voting because you're afraid? Are you voting because you will always be voting? I'm, I don't always want to vote. I always have an, want to have an opinion in this. You know, and I feel McCain just running in the election because he wants to add it to his resume more than, than he cares about the country. Right. And, and I think he showed that by picking Sarah Palin. Uh, you know, he's trying to fuck America with his little scams. His little scams, you mean like picking Sarah Palin? Yeah, right, like, you know, like, just trying to get the woman votes, uh, leftover Hillary Clinton votes. Why would why would any woman vote for John McCain? Let's start with that. I don't know, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he walked up in a walker tonight at the debate. Well, trust me, uh, the, he's walking like the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> yeah. But, um, do we have a Sarah Palin style? to take me out with, Tom? No, we don't have that yet, but we're working on one. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Matt on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hello, Dad. How are you? Doing okay, son. All right. Well, yeah, you know, I was I was on the road. I heard these guys talking about who they're voting for, and I got to tell you, a lot of your listeners are not that smart. Because they don't agree with you? No, because if anyone wants to elect Barack Obama, I don't know where your head's at. Uh, well, our head, let's face it, the uh, stock market's down almost 5,000 points. Uh, the, the unemployment's the highest been in eight years. Uh, of course, uh, people are not only losing their jobs, they're losing their retirement money. Uh, uh, many people are afraid of whether they're going to get jobs. Uh, they, Sorry, Dad, that I, might have something to do with it. I don't want to interrupt you. I don't want to. Well, good. But that, well, that, well, if you don't want to, why are you doing it? I, that these are reasons why people don't want John McCain. Well, this all started a long time ago, and when was the, that? All right, you're a history expert. When when did it start? I'm not a history expert. When did it but start? I went to school and I got a degree when in did, business. And the when thing is did it start? When? 
we, when the nation turns from a manufacturing to a service industry, that's where we lost. And, and Barack Obama was responsible for that. No, Barack Obama, uh. but the Democrats were in charge of that. When when you tax, there we go. <laughs> There's a McCain supporter right there. I have to get back to you on that. <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. There you go. I, it's not even hard to make these guys collapse like a house of cards. Just ask them a direct question. They all Sarah Palin you. I got him Paland. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Gabriel on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello Tom. I know you're doing great, and it's an honor to speak to you. I know. But uh, my question is, uh, what can I tell all these young voters who seem to be disenfranchised with this very aspect of voting? You know, I am I am voting for Obama myself, and uh, I'm pretty well informed for a 24-year-old doing everything I can to, you know, find out as much information as possible about the candidates. And uh, I'm trying to do everything I can to influence every one of my friends and family members who are young, maybe probably under 25, who wouldn't normally be interested at all in politics. And I keep getting the same thing, you know. They're like, "Oh, my vote don't count." It's all about the electoral college vote, and you know. Well, these I, are just I'm, ignorant people, and, and frankly, I don't want ignorant people voting anyway. I, anybody who doesn't want to vote, please, I say, stay home. Do well, not vote. Yeah, but um, a lot of my, a lot of the guys I know, um, they're voting. But the, most of the people I'm trying to talk to are girls, and you know, of course, well, you know, you're wasting your time with that. I know, but but they are a vote, and they, you know that is another number I can get. You know, because I'm easily swayed. I get a, oh, gr- if you want a, if you want girls who vote, you have to go to the girls who are over fifty. True. Those girls vote once once they've dropped their last egg, once they don't have tampons under the sink anymore, then they vote. Well, uh, well my thing is, what about the the guys? I'm still finding the guys are bringing up like, oh, my vote counts. All about electoral college. Like, what can I tell them? To let them know that, hey, your vote... Yeah, I don't think you should... I'm serious. My opinion, if you're asking my opinion, my opinion is someone that ignorant shouldn't be voting anyway. Why would you say they are ignorant, Tom? Like, isn't that what actually gets the president elected, is the electoral college vote? Or is it... Yes, but the electors are elected by you. What do you mean? You vote for the electors. Oh, okay. Read up. All right, you're right, Tom. Crack right. open a book. Yes. Who is electing the president? Who elects the electors? You. Are these are uh, are the delegates elected officials? <sighs> Jesus, you uh, you are voting for people who are going to represent you, and they're going to vote for the person that you elect them to vote for. Oh, okay. So, I guess I'm not did as did you ever go to go be. to go back to school? I'm going to read up on that, Tom. You're killing me, Larry. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Sarah on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. Um, Hi. Uh, I was going to say I am going to vote for Obama. And um, I agree with most what you say, but um, we're going to make fun of McCain for like, physical injuries. That is it's kind of... I'm not talking about physical injuries. The guy's 72 years old. He's walking like a 72-year-old man. Well, the reason he walks real funny is because he has the whole POW thing. With, the like, whole POW you know. thing. What thing is that? Tell us specifically what injury John McCain has. I I mean, he talked about how they came and like, broke his arms and legs, you know, like a couple times a day. Uh, many sometimes. people listening had, have, have had broken legs. They don't walk like the Incredible Hulk. John McCain walks like that because he's 72 years old. Oh, you're right. It probably adds to it, but I'm, I mean, I don't know, having nothing to heal. I'm not having time to heal the wounds, we're breaking them again. Probably He's had, adds something. John McCain's had about, uh, what, uh, 60 years uh, to recover. 55 years, something like that, okay? Okay. Okay, you're right. Oh, Jesus Christ. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here's Paul on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Great. I'm calling. Uh, I am 27 years old. I live in California, and I'm going to vote, and I'm voting for Ralph Nader. Ah, so you don't want to vote for anybody who has a chance of winning. I understand. <laughs> I know a lot of people... A lot of people say vote for a third party and 
or vote for independent and you're pretty much throwing your vote away. But then it's the same thing as these people that are... No, no, up. no. You're helping elect McCain. If that's what you want to do, go for it. Um, and and then, too, I wanted to ask, I know before you said you're a libertarian. I'm not, and, a, not a capital L libertarian. I'm not a member of the Libertarian Party. Oh, you just you, you just believe in... Uh, Libertarianism. The, the, principles of uh, small Liber government. Yes, yes, the things that Republicans claim to believe in but really don't, those yeah. things. Okay. Well, uh, thanks for taking my call, Tom. You're more than welcome. Tina on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hello? Is that a question or a statement? Hello? Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, Hi, Tina! Tom. Hi, Tom! You're killing me! I didn't, I couldn't hear you. Okay, I wanted to say that I love you so much. Can you hear you. me now? I guess not. It's John on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello? Is that a question or a statement? <laughs> it's a little bit of both. But actually, you know what? I'm just calling up because I want people to know how important it is to vote, whether you know anything about voting or not. When I uh, graduated high school, everyone always told me that I needed to vote, that my vote always counted. But I didn't know anything about politics at all. So I, I, I realized that, you know what? Who are the people that support me the most? My parents. I asked my parents, I said, who, who should I vote for? Because right now I'm living off of your dollar and... and you know, every, whatever breaks you get because of who's in office, that's who I'll vote for to help you out. So I think no matter who you're thinking about voting for, you should always, if you don't know anything about it, find out from the people around you and the people who are supporting you the most because if you know nothing, then... By the way, I, I, I think that's the wrong way to find out because the average moron next to you knows less than you do. Well, that's true. I say I mean, read up, ask, so crack open a book, crack a open a newspaper, go to a website, for God's sake. Well, when I was 18, you know, I, that was the least thing on my mind, and, but I knew how important it was to vote. I mean, we have all these rights that, you know, we should respect and that, you know, uh, there's people fighting overseas so that we can, we can actually vote. I mean, there's people in other countries. I don't know if fighting in Iraq is uh, what uh, that's all about. The Tom Likas Show.